how to clean out your tank if you have a bug infestation like for example um, mites uh, springtails if you don't want to keep them in your tank mites um, like grain mites usually come in dry mixes like this um, I always like to suggest to freeze all your mixes for at least 72 hours just to make sure that there are no mites um, but I'm going to show you how to clean out your tank I currently have crabs in the tank so I am going to work around them and be careful and gentle as possible um, so I don't disturb them my crabs do like to sleep outside <clears throat> out in the open so I want to make sure that I am avoiding them 100%. So I want to make sure that um, we're doing everything safe. I'm just going to show you how to uh, clean it out if you have your crabs in the tank. Now, if you have an ant infestation that is a complete tank redo, you will need to set up a temporary tank or possibly a tote to place them in there temporarily while you strip down the tank now what you want to do is you want to get a bucket with um, water and you're going to add this is where you're going to add all of your items that you have inside the tank like your um, decorations egg, uh, shells and things like that uh, food dishes I am going to put a nice splash of vinegar inside this water and I'm going to add a few drops of prime, okay? Because we're going to be adding our food dishes and we wanna make sure that um, they are completely sanitized. So I'm just gonna get that out of the way. And then you're gonna need another bowl or um, with water. You're also going to prime this. This is what you're going to clean your glass with, okay? So you want to make sure you prime it because our crabs do come up against the glass and they do like to drink the, the condensation that's on the front of the glass. So I want to make sure that you are clear. The only time you're putting vinegar is in a bucket where you're going to be cleaning the items. This is not, oh, you cannot use vinegar inside a tank while you have hermit crabs in them. Now, if you had a tank that you're going to redo and you're gonna remove your crabs and put them in another temporary tank with all their needs, then you can use your 50-50 uh, vinegar inside the tank, but not with your crabs inside because they will suffocate. Anything with odor and chemicals, it's not safe to use while your crabs are in the tank. So I'm going to show you what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna remove all of my wood pieces I'll do that towards the end actually all of the food dishes so if you have grain mites you will see them mainly in your food dishes they do climb up climb up against the glass so I'm throwing everything inside the vinegar water just like this just to make sure that nothing is gonna crawl out and put it there oh, oh no baby Okay, so we're doing this. I'm going to remove all of these dishes. You're going to need a, um, a heavy duty vacuum. I am going to be using a Home Depot um, dry and wet vacuum, but you can use anything with a handheld um, nozzle. You are going to remember if you have crabs in the tank, um, you don't know if you're going to have molters or not. I'm gonna put my shells in there because I will boil them. Wanna make sure that you are removing the shells that are not being used. Now, if you have babies in the tank, you are not gonna boil anything. You're just going to rinse them because you don't know if you have um, 
a baby inside one of these shells. So we, God forbid, we do something like that, then we will hurt our babies. Okay. I don't have babies in this tank, so I can um, do this carefully. Now, if you have leaf litter and things like that, you want to remove everything. This is a really big task, but it's definitely something that is worth it because you want to get rid of those grain mites or whatever bugs it is that you have. Grain mites are not harmful to our crops. So I want to make sure that we all know that. They're just a nuisance. They do multiply quite fast. I don't need to worry about too much of this um, because I am going to be using the vacuum. So the vacuum will pick up most of this stuff. Now if you have moss, anything that the mites can get into, you want to remove. Now wood pieces, like I said, um, you can boil, reboil them if you like, or just bake them. That's what I'm going to do actually. I'm going to bake them so that I can make sure that all the mites are dead. Anything inside the substrate you do not want to remove at all. Especially if you have molters. Okay, I'm going to vacuum and I will do a time lapse so you guys can see that. Okay, I vacuumed about half an inch of the substrate all around. Um, you want to make sure, like I mentioned, you're not disturbing the substrate if you have your crabs inside the tank. So you want to avoid that completely. Um, all shells and decorations have been removed. Everything except for what's inside, stuck inside the substrate, like this wood or these pieces here. I do have molting crabs so I want to avoid touching any of that and collapsing any tunnels or caves so now you want to make sure that you're vacuuming your backgrounds if you still have this on in the ground then vacuum over it um, the backgrounds the boxwood whatever it is that you may have inside the tank still Okay, you want to make sure you've done that now what you're going to do is you're going to take your container that you use it's just regular plain water tap water with a few drops of prime you're going to take some paper towels and you're going to dab it with some water and you're going to clean out all around the glass because green mites do get inside um, and climb up on the on the glass and on the rims so you want to make sure you're doing that cleaning it out okay so I cleaned out the glass now you're going to take a clean dry paper towel nothing on it and you're just going to go over your glass and make sure that everything is dry <gasps> oh jeez I'm sorry babies If you have cameras in the tank, you want to make sure that that is clean as well. These mites will get on anything and everything. Okay. You want to make sure that you have all lids um, sealed, um, any ledges 
where you have bubblers coming from coming into the tank um, if the grain mites were coming from outside you want to make sure that everything is completely sealed that they cannot get inside the tank in between this cleaning you want to take a little break so that your humidity levels do not go down um, too much Okay, so I vacuumed everything, cleaned out the dishes, removed all the decorations, any moss, um, vacuumed. I actually baked and boiled, well, boiled and then baked any of the woods just to make sure that there was nothing in it. Um, the shells have been refreshed. I rinsed them, um, made sure that there was no crabs in those current shells but all the crabs i have in this tank are big so i was able to they were all accounted for if you have a bad infestation you might need to um, do this process one more time or maybe even several times it all depends you want to make sure that you freeze all your food mixes for 72 hours if you can do longer than that's fine you can leave staples out for the crabs and maybe um, some leaf litter, to do something to hold them off for a few days. Just leave the staples, the calcium, worm casting, and green sand um, in a corner somewhere and replenish it as needed. You want to make sure that your pools are clean, everything is clean. Anything that the mites can get in, like I mentioned, the boxwood or decorations, you want to make sure you're vacuuming that and cleaning it out. But this is pretty much it. I am going to see if it did the job. If I have to repeat the process, then I will do that again a several times. There's no need to redo your substrate if it's not an ant infestation. If it's an ant infestation, then it's a different story. You will have to redo your substrate in and if it's a lot then you will and you have molting crabs unfortunately you will have to dig them up and prepare for that um, my only suggestion is if it comes to having to dig up a crab please um join us on our facebook group and we'll be able to help you we just want to make sure that your crabs are safe and that you don't find yourself in a situation that can be dangerous so this is not something that we would want you to do on your own you have support you can go to us follow us um, even message me or follow me on my social medias and I'll be happy to help you through this whole process hope you guys enjoy the video please make sure to like and subscribe and if you haven't already hit that notification bell have a great one